you're in the mood and ready for some really good Mexican food, you've got to check out the longtime San Diego favorite spot called Miguel's Cocina. Inside, this place is very cool. We found a comfortable, relaxed atmosphere and everything was really nice. We were tripping out on the huge palm trees located in the middle. Again, really cool. If there's one type of food I could eat seven days a week, it'd have to be Mexican food. And as corporate executive chef Steve Floyd showed us at Miguel's, they have some of the best. Noah, check this out. This is our slow roasted pork. It's a pork butt that we cook for about three to four hours. A lot of marinade in there, a lot of citrus juice. It's gonna shred out. This is gonna become our chili verde burrito. It's fantastic. Now that's exactly what I'm talking about. And it keeps getting better. What makes Miguel's different than everyone else? A lot of people start out with prefab food, they'll buy it. We start from the beginning. This is thighs and breasts that have been slow cooked for about two hours until they shred apart. Little peppers in there, you just see. We do about three of these a day. So this is how we do it. Slow cooking brings out the best flavors. White meat chicken, tomatoes, peppers, onions, a little bit of spice, but really we let the sauce. Mexican food is more about letting the sauce shine through rather than really getting on the food. So the food is really pure, clean flavor, and then it's the sauce that goes on top that enhances it rather than cooking everything down to a mush. All right, only the finest avocados. We use basically salsa fresca, fresh cilantro, a little bit of spice, some lime juice. As you can tell, it's home, homemade, and we smash it by hand. We don't use any kind of uh, machinery to do this because it'll really pulverize the wok. We want it to be nice and chunky. Back in the kitchen, these guys were going off. Everything is fresh, hot, and looking good. And Steve showed me a few of their favorites, which started out with some killer fajitas. All right, Noah, this is what I'm talking about when I think about Mexican food. Look at these fajitas. We have our skirt steak and shrimp fajitas. Nice and hot coming off the grill. This is one of our specialty items that we're known for here at Miguel's. Really proud of this food. When you eat this, you just want to come back. Coming over here, we have our slow cooked pork. This is one of our new items and it's fantastic. You see the pork slow cooked, brown on the edges, served with a little of our salsa verde sauce, rice and beans, pickled onions. Really brings those authentic flavors of Mexico to you. Looking over here, this is my all time favorite. This is something that brings back memories for me being from Texas. Texas, like California, is so close to the border that we get a huge influence. This is our version of chicken mole. It's a traditional mole sauce. We do it with thin pounded chicken, caramelized onions, and it's just a little sesame seeds on top. You can't beat it. Really traditional Mexican food, great flavors. And this is really what we call our everyday Mexican food. This is from our list. We call it the A because it's so popular. It's at the top of the list. This is our carne asada tacos. Beef sauteed, little onions, a little salsa fresca added in, big globs of guacamole, some cotilla cheese on top. It's just a big meal with great flavors for a real value price. And this is our world famous pollo asado burrito. We have our jalapeno white sauce on one side, our enchilada sauce on the other. The nice guacamole in the middle inside is chunks of white meat sauteed down, a lot of flavor. Nice big burrito, once again, this is what we come here for, this authentic Mexican food. We sat down and tried it all, and let me tell you, everything was awesome, and went great with Miguel's signature cocktails. Raspberry mojito, white peach sangria, or a classic strawberry or house margarita. Of course, let's not forget dessert. How about coconut flan, house made, toasted coconut, and super creamy. Or maybe you're in the mood for apple cinnamon chimichangas. Fresh apples sautéed in cinnamon and served with vanilla ice cream. Or chocolate empanadas prepared from Steve's grandmother's recipe. These things are killer. The Morton family has done it again. When it's time for some great Mexican food, do yourself a favor and find a Miguel's Cocina. They're all over San Diego.